Hi, this is Doug Schulte with Select Machining here to talk about the Momentum MVL-12M. The MVL-12M has a 1.25 meter table, which is 49 inches. It has a 1.6 meter swing, which is 63 inches. The vertical capacity uh, from the bottom of the ram to the top of the table is 1,385 millimeters, which is a little more than 54 inches. And then the max turning height with a standard holder in the end of the ram is 1,150 millimeters, or right at 45 inches. The uh, maximum weight capacity on the table is 8,000 kilograms, or a little over 17,000 pounds. The table is driven by a 55 kilowatt spindle motor in duty rated and 45 kilowatts continuous. That's 73.7 horsepower and 60 horsepower continuous. It's driven by a two-speed gearbox. The machine can produce a maximum amount of torque of 19,000 newton meters, which is just over 14,000 foot-pounds of torque. The uh, maximum spindle RPM is around 312 RPM. Uh, you can force low gear or force high gear for certain operations if needed. The live tool spindle is driven by a 22 kilowatt duty rated 18 and a half kilowatt continuous, which is 30 horsepower, 25 horsepower continuous. A spindle motor that's mounted at the top of the ram connected to a two speed gearbox that gives us more power and torque than most of our competitors in the milling capability of the machine. The milling spindle itself is built by SKF and it's supported in NSK bearings. Same with the bearings under the table. There's a radial and a thrust bearing under the table to give you exceptional load capacity as well as accuracy and rotation. The C-axis drive is a gearbox that's located right in the front of the table and it's an independent C-axis drive. It doesn't use the the spindle motor to index the C-axis. It has a completely independent C-axis drive, which gives you greater power for C-axis moves and better accuracy. I mentioned the cross rail. Uh, right now, the cross rail is at its highest position, and it can come down 500 millimeters towards the table in two 250 millimeter increments. So you have the high position, 250 millimeters lower, and then another 250 millimeters lower to to have the full capacity, get the, that ram as close to the table as you can get it. The cross rail is an extended cross rail, so we get full x-axis travel on both sides of the part. We have one meter on the right side of the center line of the table, and we have 820 millimeters on the left side of the table. So you have 39 inches to the right and a little over 32 inches to the left. With this full travel cross rail, it allows us to turn on the, the right side of the part with the tool on the left side of the ram, and then we can travel to the left side of the part and use the tool on the right side of the ram. That also allows us to probe a part on diameter with that full travel cross rail. We can probe this side, travel all the way over and probe the other side of the part, uh, which you can't do on uh, half cross rail machines. Tool changer is uh, an important part of all VTLs. The MVL series uses a floor mounted tool changer. It's not a tool changer that's suspended from the cross rail, uh, which will limit your uh, load capacity you can put on that tool changer. Being floor mounted, we can support more weight than a, than a cross rail mounted tool changer. Uh, we can also provide greater lengths in tools. There is a side door for the operator to access the, the inside and change tools in and out if, if needed. The top of it opens up so those heavy tool blocks can be lifted out with an overhead crane. One of the features of the Momentum machines that you can clearly see from here is the massive size of the cross rail. The cross rail is a very heavy cast iron construction, box ways supporting the ram and the saddle for the, the best rigidity available. Here you can also see the side of the full wrap column uh, in one half of the locking system for that cross beam. It's a very heavy duty, robust locking system that locks that cross rail in position as, when it moves to the different positions. 
Another feature of the Momentum MVLs is all of our axis drives, X and Z, are connected to the ball screw with a four to one reduction gear drive, uh, providing more power and thrust in, the, uh, in each axis. So you have a seven kilowatt, 9.4 horsepower motor that drives the ball screw through a four to one reduction gearbox. So here behind the machine, you can see the Fanuc spindle drive. This is the 55 kilowatt spindle motor that provides power to the two-speed gearbox, which drives the table. So this gives us very powerful spindle drive through the custom gearbox. It's not a reduction gearbox. It is a true two-speed gearbox for heavy-duty turning. So over here on the other side of the MVL, we can see the, the box ways that support the uh, vertical travel of the crossrail. We can also see a, a much better look of the clamping system that breaks that uh, and holds that cross rail in position. This is, they're duplicated on both sides. It's very symmetrical in design. There's a shot pin that goes in between the ways and it sets down on the, on the block. There's a block at the, this is the bottom block that you can see here. There's one 250 millimeters up from it and then there's another one at the top which is 500 millimeters up from this one. The shot pin will rest down on there and then all four hydraulic brakes, two, two on this side and two on the other side, clamp that cross rail in position to hold it stable while we're doing heavy turning. The machine weight due to all the heavy casting is uh, again, uh, much heavier than most of the competitors in our range. It weighs in at just under 29,000 kilograms, right at 60. 4,000 pounds. So that's the Momentum MVL-12M. If you're in the market for a heavy-duty ram-type vertical lathe, please reach out to your local distributor, whether it's Morris, Harwig, Gossiger, or Arizona CNC, and ask them about the Momentum MVL series. Or you can contact us here at Select Machining Technology, and we'll be happy to help.